Welcome to the second part of the discussion on the budget process. So now, we proceed with uh, the budget legislation. So ngayon, naipasa na from Office of the President to the Congress yung uh, tinatawag yung na President's Budget. So now, the government funds shall only be spent in pursuance of an appropriation made by law. Therefore, due process must be undertaken to legalize the proposed budget. So this is... Uh, the next phase, oh, so nandito na tayo sa step 4 under the phase budget legislation. So House deliberations. Upon receipt of the President's budget, the House of Representatives conducts hearings to scrutinize the various agencies' respective programs and expenditures. Therefore, thereafter, the House of Representatives repairs the General Appropriations Bill. Okay. Lagyan lang natin ng detalye ito. Papaano sila nagkakonduct ng hearing? Normally, yaan ay magpapatawag ng hearing for, uh, for example, today, ang schedule, Department of Agriculture. The next day, uh, normally, a week yan, uh, or pwedeng magtagal. So, may schedule lang yan. Department of Education susunod, and then Department of Social Welfare and Development, and then next, ganyan. So, ganun yung process niya. So, dito po nagigisa yung lahat ng agency heads. So, you will, uh, apart from uh, approving or looking at your budget, you the agency head will be scrutinized based on their past performance. So, pwedeng dito na papasok yung uh, ano ang mga nagawa mo for the last year na achieve ba yung mga goals so kaya dito kinakabahan ang maraming budget officers and agency heads because uh, para silang nasa defense uh, under the house deliberations next senate deliberations so pwede rin under if uh, okay na sa house of Repre representatives they will prepare the general appropriations bill that will be forwarded to the senate the to the higher house, kasi diba the lower house and the upper house, ang Senate naman. So, nagkakonduct din yan ng deliberations. Sir, uh, uh, parang ang tagal ng process kasi ipo-forward pa pala sa Senate. However, the Senate, uh, uh, in the interest of uh, time, they also conduct uh, own deliberations kahit na pwedeng sabay na nagde-deliberate yung house, nagde-deliberate din yung Senate. Para kapag dumating na yung bill sa house, ay sa Senate ay ma-check na kaagad nila for expediency. So, uh, under the normal process, dapat yan ay the House will deliberate and it will prepare a general appropriations bill. So, bill pa lang ito, hindi pa siya batas. Then, forwarded to the Senate for deliberations and approval. And then, after okay din sa kanila or kung merong mga conflicts, they will form the Bicameral Conference Committee. So, the Bicameral Conference Committee will be... Uh, responsible in harmonizing conflicts. So, merong conflicts dyan sa uh, House of Representatives at dun sa Senate versions ng General Appropriations Bill. So, dyan natin pinaplansya or pinagtutugma yung gusto ng Sen Senate at yung gusto ng uh, House of Representatives. So, the harmonized gab is then submitted to uh, once uh, napag-agrihan na yung harm. Uh, yung Harmonize uh, Appropriations Bill, ang gagawa niyan is the Bicameral Conference Committee, it will all it will be submitted back to both the House and the Senate for their ratification. What does ratification means? Ibig sabihin, uh, uh, inaaprobahan na nila kung ano man yung naging changes at kung ano man yung mga pinlansya doon sa conflicts. So the final gab is now submitted to the President for enactment. So under number 7, this is President's enactment. The President enacts the budget which is now known as the General Appropriations Act. So, ya approve lang ni President yung uh, General Appropriations Bill. Sa pag in niya, it will be called now as an Act, General Appropriations Act, or the more known as the GAA. Ito po yung taon-taon ina-approban ng na budget for, uh, for the nation. Before enactment, though, the President may exercise his veto power as conferred to him as conferred to him under the Philippine Constitution. So na, malamang narinig mo na itong veto power na, na tinutukoy. So pwedeng uh, pwede siyang mag uh, delete ng mga ibang items doon as uh, as an exercise of the veto power. So ano ba itong sinasabing uh, veto power na ito? Yung ito yung uh, lahat ng batas na ipinasa ng 
ng ng Congress ay pwedeng i-veto ng President. Okay. So, yung mga items na hindi niya gusto doon sa uh, doon sa bill na ipinasa sa kanya. Okay. So, hindi siya stampad approval. Hindi siya stampad approval na kung ano yung ginawa, i-approve niya lang. So, meron siyang, uh, meron siyang power to veto i- items included in the uh, included in the budget or in the bill. It applies to all laws na pinapasa ng Congress. Okay, what happens? Okay, let's look at a relevant provision of a law, yung tinatawag nating automatic GAA. When the proposed budget is not enacted before the fiscal year starts, the last year's GAA is automatically reenacted. The last year's GAA shall be used in the current year until a new general appropriations bill is passed by the Congress. This is uh, according to Article 6, Section 25 of the, our Constitution. Kung, magsisim- kung halimbawang uh, nagsimula na yung fiscal year at hindi pa na-approve or na-enact, yung, hindi pa napipirmahan ng presidente yung ating General Appropriations Bill, according to the Constitution ay automatic ma-enacted yung last year's JA. So, imaginein mo yung... Uh, Imaginin mo kung ganun ang transaction, uh, medyo magulo yan. Kasi nga, kung zero-based budgeting ka, iba na yung binabudget mo. So, tapos ang gagamitin mo yung last year's budget. So, yan ang uh, iniiwasan na mangyari. But it happens in some instances in the in the administration of uh, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. And also in the administration of President Duterte, it happens. I am in uh, in a government agency when the reenactment of the GAA happens at talagang nagkakagulo dyan, nagkaroon ng mga delay on the projects. Uh, na- mahirap yung, yung naging, um, it is a dilemma for, for government agencies when the budget is reenacted. Apektado lahat ng government agency dyan kasi nakaplano lahat ng program and activities nila tapos hindi mapopondohan according to what is included in the current budget. Ang mapopondohan is yung uh, based on the previous year's budget. So, mahirap yan. Uh, sometimes, uh, politics affects the the national budget. Kaya naapektuhan pati yung budget ng government agency and in effect, the entire Filipino nation. Okay. Let's look at the items for, uh, under the budget legislation. Andiyan hanggang dyan tayo sa President's Enactment. So, maraming items dyan. Tingnan natin yung approved budget. What does an approved budget uh, consist? An approved budget is the expenditure authority derived from appropriation laws, government ordinances, and other decisions related to anticipated revenue or receipts for the budgetary period. The approved budget consists of the following. So, meron tayong... Uh, items. Nakahiwa-hiwalay kasi yung appropriation. So, the entire uh, act is a general appropriations act. Pero dun sa loob nun, hiwa-hiwalay yung new general APRO, continuing APRO, supplemental APRO, automatic, and program funds, retained income funds, revolving funds, trust receipts. So, ano po itong tinatawag na UWAX code? Sa government kasi kapag sinabi mong 01, alam na na new general APRO yon Kapag 02, continuing APRO yon So, ano ibig sabihin ng UWAX code? It is the unified accounts code structure. It refers to the standard coding system used in financial reporting of the government. So, nag-assign ng coding system para mas madaling ma-identify yung classification ng appropriation. So, what is an appropriation? An appropriation is an authorization made by by law or a legislative body to allocate funds for purposes specified by the legislative or similar authority. So, kung titingnan mo yung definition niya, ang sinasabi lang dito ay, kapag sinabi nating appropriation, iyan ay authorized na ng batas na mag-allocate ka ng funds para dun sa mga pro- programs or projects mo. So, yun siya. So, ngayon, yung appropriation, it is sub-categorized as follows. The new general appropriations, ito yung annual authorizations for incurring obligations during a specified year. Ito yung nasa general appropriations act. Okay? 
as listed in the GAA. The continuing appropriations, these are authorizations to support obligations for specific purpose or projects such as multi-year construction projects which require the incurrence of obligations even beyond the budget year. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Yung mga construction projects kasi ay normally yan ay more than a year. Pwedeng uh, 5 years, pwedeng 8 years, pwedeng 10 years. So, dapat uh, may garantiya yung mga ganitong klaseng project that there is a continuing appropriations for that. These are authorizations para isuporta yung mga ganitong klaseng uh, project. Kasi hindi pwedeng this year may budget siya, next year wala. So, yun yung, yun yung continuing appropriations. Next, supplemental appropriations. Supplemental appropriations, as the term implies, these are additional appropriations authorized by the law to augment the original appropriations kasi nakita na insufficient yung funds for that, for the intended purpose dahil sa economic, political, or social conditions. So, pwede nating isupplement or dagdagan yung budget for that as long as it is supported by a certification of availability of funds from the Bureau of Treasury. Next, automatic appropriations. When we say automatic appropriations, these are authorizations programmed annually or for some other period prescribed by law which do not require periodic action by Congress. Ano itong mga automatic appropriations na ito? For, for example, yung mga retirement and uh, pension of our uniform personnel and civilian personnel, yan ay automatic appropriated na. Hindi na kailangan ng... Uh, periodic action or periodic approval by the Congress because it is uh, protected by the law. Hindi naman pwedeng walang budget yung pension na ganyan. Next, the unprogrammed um, funds. These are standby appropriations authorized by Congress in the annual JA which may be availed only when any of the following instances occur. The revenue collections exceed the original revenue targets as, as uh, indicated in the best F. New revenues are collected or realized from sources not originally considered in the best F. And there are newly approved loans for foreign assisted projects. Okay, so meron tayong tinatawag na unprogrammed funds. So these are standby appropriations. Pwede kasi na uh, hindi nakaprogram yung mga activities or na, na pwedeng... Uh, mag-occur on the particular year kaya nag uh, lalagay tayo ng unprogrammed funds para meron tayong pagkukuhanan. Item 6 Retained Income Funds These are collections which are authorized by law to be used directly by agencies concerned for their operation or specific purposes. Number seven, uh, revolving funds. These are receipts derived from business type activities of department or agencies which are authorized by law to be constituted as such and deposited in authorized government depository banks. So, ito po yung uh, nor etong revolving funds. And dito yung mga items uh, such as yung mga business related funds na discuss natin earlier. Yung mga auxiliary functions nandito yun sa revolving funds mga business type activities. Okay? Yan. So, dyan kinukuha yun. These are self-liquidating and all obligation expenditures incurred by virtue of said business type activity. Trust receipts. These are receipts by any government agencies acting as trustee or agent or administrator for the fulfillment of some obligations or conditions. So, ito yung uh, trust receipts na diniscuss din natin earlier. Uh, kasama nung, nung business-related funds, uh, yung trust receipts, yung may trustor and trustee. Okay, so may separate um, UWAX code yan at may separate uh, fund monitoring yan. Okay, let's look at the relevant provision of the law related to the budget uh, legislation. A special appropriations bill shall specify the purpose for which it is intended and shall be supported by funds actually available as certified by the National Treasurer or to be raised according to a revenue proposal therein. No law shall be passed authorizing any transfer of appropriations. However, the President, President of the Senate, Speaker, the Chief Justice, and the heads of constitutional commissions may by law be authorized to augment any item in the general appropriations law for their respective offices from savings in other items of their respective appropriations. Anong sinasabi under bullet number 2? 
hindi pwede na inapprove na yung appropriation ng, na in act na yan ng president tapos ikaw government agency uh, gagawa ka ng uh, transfer from one appropriation to another for example inappropriate na ang uh, traveling expenses mo ay 1 million for the year pero nakita mo merong kang repairs and maintenance na ang dami ang 2 million pa na hindi nagagamit e eh, eh, sumusobra ang traveling expenses mo. So, the repair, ang gusto mong gawin, repairs and maintenance appropriation, ililipat mo sa travel, gagamitin mo for traveling expenses, that cannot be. That is not authorized and that will uh, uh, result to technical malversation. So, dito na yung pumapasok yung ganon. Hindi mo pwedeng pull, uh, i-pull out yung isang appropriation to another at gagamitin mo. Kung, kasi nga, yung funds na yon ay ip, uh, ipinasa yung pondo na yon ay ipinasa para lang don sa purpose na yon so yung 2 million na yon is only for repairs and maintenance kung may savings man dyan i-revert yan sa treasury hindi mo pwedeng kuha-kuhanin or you will decide on your own because uh, kapag inalaw natin yung mga ganong transaction it will result to uh, technical malversation it can even Worse, it can result to corruption in the agency. So, yun yung pinaprevent. This is specifically identified under Article 6, Section 25 of our Constitution. So, we end now on our budget legislation phase. So, next, on our next accident video, we will proceed with the budget execution. So, dito na natin gagastusin yung pera na na-approve uh, under the President's enactment. Please continue on the succeeding video. Thank you.